Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are going to finish off the Bring Your Daughter to Workday series by Flooper, which apparently contains a fire pit. Let's see, this is the fourth map of the series, make sure to check out the first few parts here. And also, I think that the reason I had missing textures last time was because I had unsubscribed from parts 1 and 2 before playing part 3. And the reason I did that was because, uh, some maps, you have to do that, because otherwise they conflict. Like with, uh, what was it? The office prank, you have to unsubscribe from the previous parts before playing the next parts, because otherwise it messes up. And, uh, so I did that here, and that ended up backfiring, so yeah. Always read about the required items before playing. Alright, let's jump right in. I didn't have it loaded, because usually they start off with a little cinematic, and I am not fast enough to pause the game before the cinematic has ended. Oh, this time it was just fine. Alright. Well, that's... Strange music. If you can even call that music at all. <laughs> wow, that fog is really close. Ooh, that's spooky looking. Wait, can we go... Okay, so we can't go that way just yet. But I have a feeling we will be able to eventually. Oh, what the? Was I supposed to see something there? Oh no, okay, it's a looping animation. Awesome. This one's behind glass. Strange. Interesting. And this drops a cube somewhere? Not there. Well, that button is just good and darn pressed. There is no unpressing that button ever. Okay, so there's the fire pit. Remember when you were sliding into the fire pit? And I was like, goodbye, and you were like, no way? Um... Okay, where did that cube actually pop in at? Oh! Hello! Was this door open before? I don't think this door was open before. Get in there, cube. Scripted pushes, pushing it out. Give me a new one. I don't like that one. Ow! Flooper, your cube hit me in the head! Man, that took a long time to respawn. <laughs> I almost thought that it wasn't going to respawn, because it was taking so long. <laughs> okay, still can't go this way yet, so let's go put the cube on... Ooh, that's a good point. We cannot... Cannot. What do we want to do instead? Oh, okay. I didn't even realize that there was an area over there. Alright, so we can't go in there just yet. Hey, that probably opens this, right? Oh, don't tell me that's on a timer. Alright, we just need to do that. Okay. <laughs> I was worried I was gonna have to do a lot more than just that. Okay, so then... Alright, we need to... Okay, fair enough. Head over here, and then we pull it in from this side. There you are, cube. Little fizzler puzzle. Nice. Oh. Interesting. You know, what's interesting as well is that, um... This is the first time in a very long time that I've seen sliding glass, because there is sliding glass in, uh, the Portal 2 main campaign, but you almost never see sliding glass ever again. And Bmod has fizzlers that are basically the same thing as sliding glass, where you can't walk through them, can't... Wait, no, well, uh, yeah, yeah, you can't do any of the things. At least I think it does. Because being able to have glass that you can turn on and off is really useful. We were able to get in here before. Alright. Anything new here? Wait, that's portalable? Why is that portalable? What? The portal doesn't even stay. Why is that even a thing? It's like portable for just a split second. I feel like I'm supposed to do something during that time, but the portal won't stay. Uh, okay, so let's see if anything else opened up as a result of my cube escapades. We can easily recall the cube. Did that open up? Let's go check. 
I didn't pay attention to the sign. Do... Yeah, that's what changed. Alright. Yeah, this is it. And the new home for the cube. Oh, goodness. Huh. I'm thinking about just recalling the cube. What the? Flooper! What just killed me there? Was it the switch or the door? <laughs> oh my goodness, I've- I've never seen something like that happen. What even just happened there? Get on there, cube. Let's, uh... Let's try this again. Let's see. If I stand against the switch... Oh, it is the switch! Uh, uh, huh. Uh, uh, w wh what <laughs> Okay, well that is- that is definitely quite buggy, Flooper. You might- might want to turn off collision for that thing entirely. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, what was I doing? I was doing that. I'm gonna recall the cube, that's right. Give me a new cube. Active. Wouldn't it be cool if you could, like, crawl in here? <laughs> Not really. Alright, so now the cube is here, and that has done... something. Three. It has done three. Alright. Well, let's get out and go see what three is. Oops. Let me out, please. Thank you. Three would be... Where would three be? Not there. Oh, it's apparently this. Oh, the signage the signage is just the order in which you do things. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't clear to me. I should have figured that out though, because that's that's not normal signage. <laughs> that's the num numeric signage. Alright, let's get over there and over here. Oops, over here I said. Thank you. Oh wow, you can actually cover over this signage. That was Wow! I never noticed the effect of that before. That's really weird. I never knew that portal did that. Alright. Let's put- oops, come on. Put that cube right here. And there's somebody mowing the grass right outside. Right outside, not south. And that is, uh, done. I'm very distracted right now. Right, yes, what do I want to do here? Quite a conundrum, because if we take this off, we can no longer go through the door. And if, even if we put it on here, this door still does not open. Yeah. Huh. Oh, there's... A laser now? Okay, that's what this does. How does one escape captivity? I wonder... Oh no! <laughs> Oh, cube. Let's, uh, let's not do that, please. Alright, now we gotta go all the way around again. What the heck is that thing doing? That wasn't just me, right? When we looked at that, literally before I hit it, it looked weird again. That thing is really weird, Flooper. <laughs> it's so buggy. All right. Uh. Ah. Uh. 
That switch doesn't also do this, right? That would be weird. Ah. Come on. Yes! Did it! <laughs> that is definitely not the solution at all. Because that is not supposed to happen. But, I can't think of anything else to do. Because, like, when we're in this room, there's no way out of here. This glass... This glass is forever... our captor. I really don't know what to have done instead. You know what? I just realized I'm an idiot. We have to- it's just the- we just had to recall the cube again. <laughs> okay, well, we had to recall the cube again. That would have been really simple to do, but I didn't do it. Anyway, I did this instead, so <laughs> we're just gonna work with that for now. I'm watching you, Switch. Alright. So these guys... Ah, the laser cuts off the front and allows you to fire permanent portals on them. Ooh, here's the so-called fire pit. What does this do? Oh wait, that stops the laser part way through? Why would I want to do that? That's a strange thing to want to do. Wait, how do I turn the laser back on now? Crap. Man, gotta love Aperture, creating these panels only to throw them away. And... I like how there's an interact there, but... What about... What about this? How do I... How does one... I don't understand what I've done. Have I... Have I trapped myself? Am I screwed? None of this makes any sense. Am I just not supposed to ever press that button? Oh, hey. How are you, sir? Huh. What did I do? What? I'm holding forward and looking at the door, and it's treating it as inputs. So pressing E does it. And walking against the door also does it. <laughs> what is even the point? Why does walking against the door trigger it? That doesn't make any sense. How... how does... I can't... what? I think... am I trapped? I think I'm trapped. I don't see anything else I could have done. <laughs> I couldn't have respawned the cube, if that's what you're th gonna say. Oh, hello! Where are we? Hey, I can actually do this the intended way now. Let's see... Hmm, I do believe that that is in a glitched state. Whatever. Uh... Right. Uh... 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 I'm watching you. Right, so... We want to do...
<laughs> what did I just do? Why did I do that? That doesn't... That doesn't help me at all. Get me in here. So what we want to do... There's no portal services that we can see from this side, right? We definitely want to have a portal here and out there at the same time. Oh my gosh, that thing is... that thing's driving me crazy! I need to stop it. Here. Trigger correctly, and then untrigger. No, that didn't fix it. <laughs> I have not been using quick saves, this is just the autosave. And it's bugged. Also, what happens if I actually go inside? Well, we can't find out until I solve this correctly anyway, so... Uh... Okay, that can't be seen. Oh, I didn't even see that sign there that says fan shut down or whatever. I think it says fan shut down. Was there something that disabled this sizzler? I don't think so. don't know what to do. This lifts the glass. There's not enough time to do anything during that time period. At all. We definitely... I feel like we need to recall the cube in order to do this, rather than exploding the glitch. I want a portal here, and a portal out there at the same time. Ow. I do that. Yep, cannot, cannot reach that lever without going through the fizzler.
And this door auto closes before before you would yeah, you wouldn't be able to find her the portal through there at all. I could fire a portal there. That doesn't help me much though. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I am really stumped. I am really stumped right now, Blooper. Life turrets. <laughs> like how it just puts me on top. Oh, well, that time it put me aside from it, but what if- Hey, there I go. That's interesting. Get up there anyway. The ceiling's too low. I don't know, I feel like I'm missing something really obvious, but I don't know what it is. Do I just need to do it long enough for the laser to cut one of these? Is that it? Do I just need to do it temporarily? How did I fire that portal wrong? Wait, that didn't even cut that time. Oh, because it's still bugged out. Will it cut the next one? Also, I don't know why I thought I could fire a portal on these things, they're moving the whole time they're in there. And... it's not cutting them! Perfect. At least the sound has stopped now. Oh, it is cutting them, it just looks weird. Okay. Maybe- or maybe it wasn't, I don't know. It's <laughs> hard to tell. Okay, let's let it cut one more. And then we'll try again. Or then we'll try my... idea. Do that. Oh, I had plenty of time, alright. Okay, so now we're in here, right? And it's no longer possible to get out. So what is this button supposed to actually do? Oh, it's supposed to turn the laser on, but it- it turned the laser off because I abused the glitch. Yep, okay, so... <laughs> totally my fault for what happened there. Basically... I'm not supposed to be able to have the cube on the button there while I am in here. It's not- it's just not meant to be. <laughs> That's what I get. For abusing a glitch. I got my comeuppins, or whatever they're called. Alright, so. Now we are... somewhere else. Ooh, a Ratman Din. Let me in. <laughs> Wait, that cable... Oh, it just goes up in the ceiling. I don't even know if it's the same cable as that or not. It doesn't even seem to be related to this door, maybe. This door opens... What about this guy? Hey! We have a path back! You know what? Why don't I just go get the cube in that case? Are these supposed to be both closed? Maybe. And the cube is gone! Where'd my cube be? 
Hey, I can't get the cube. Flooper thought of that. <laughs> oh man, Flooper thought of that. That was weird. I thought I saw something there, but nope. All right, so let's head in here. And what do we have here? One of these interesting devices that we never really learn much about in the game. Uh, really? Uh, really? Is that the same issue as the lever? What exactly just happened there? <laughs> I think it killed me. Because of the same issue to do with the lever. Let's- let's stand back. That time it didn't kill me. Man. Clooper, you gotta well test done. your- I appreciate what you're doing. That was just to get the scheming juices flowing. Yeah, you gotta test stuff by walking right up to it, and pressing E. And if it kills you, you need to change it, okay? <laughs> Deadly buttons and lovers are not something that make me happy. <laughs> Whoa, world portals. Holy crap. What? Ah, uh, now that door is open. Was that door open before? That is a weird bug with the fog. Holy crap, that looks really strange. And, uh, if you have epilepsy, you're probably already dead. Oh my goodness, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's see. So somehow, for some reason, that opened this door, right? <laughs> this way up. Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait... Were these all upside down before? Authorized personnel only. That one's upside down, okay. That one is definitely for authorized personnel only. That one's unlabeled. What is this one? <laughs> it's just the... <laughs> okay, I've gotta admit it. Feel free got some creativity with the, the minute details that most people don't even pay attention to. Fire the blue portal to repeat the last action. What? Or you use something, except doors. <laughs> All previous actions will be overwritten. The order of actions are crucial, not is crucial. <laughs> Repeat the same action that is currently taking place. Repeating any step does not change. What is exactly is going on here? Wait, are these messages based on my position? Yes, these are based on my position. Let's let's back up here, and I want to read these in order now. Alright. Let's see. Fire the blue portal gun to repeat- Fire the blue portal to repeat the last action. Once you use something... Uh... Once you use something except doors... All previous actions will be overwritten. Oh... The order of actions... Is crucial. Nothing happens if you... Repeat the same action that is currently taking place. Repeating any step does not change your or any entity's position. <laughs> Alright, interesting. What does it mean to repeat an action? Like I can press the button again? Let's try it. Yes, I can. Alright then. Cube acquired. Well, let me just double check, does that picking up the cube count as an action? Wait, what? Let's 
get this cube off of here. What does left click do? Left click... ...presses that button. What about if I pick up the cube? Okay, so... It just remembers which button I last pressed. Interesting. Also, where is that sound coming from? What is that sound? It must be near where the panels were getting cut, I guess. Ah, so now that we've done that... Also, I just noticed this fizzler is, like, permanently off now. Why is it permanently off? Ah, crap, I over... I overwrote the action! My bad. Okay, so now, interestingly, the action being performed stays being performed while, uh, even if you override it, which is strange, to say the least. There we go. That should have opened this door? Shouldn't it? Oh, I need to press the cube here now. Alright. There we go. Strange, strange mechanic. That takes quite some getting used to. And this does... Oh, hello! <laughs> and as usual, we need a cube to be able to ascend up here. Alright. Okay, so left clicking doesn't work, I have to actually fire the gun. So now... Does that count as an action? It does. But then... What? What turned off this? Right, cause... Oh, what? Oh, we need... Okay, yeah, right, 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 right. So, we need the cube again. Very, very strange. But cool, I like it. Uh, okay. I guess we have actual portals now. And it's only the blue portal, so we gotta- we gotta use the blue portal, or black portal, rather, as little as possible. Or rather, we have to- we don't- we don't want to move the blue portal, cause, uh... Yep. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought would happen. Alright. Do I want to go with this? There we go. I'll just go through this way. And... Oh! <laughs> Facing the wrong way. Come on. There we go. Now, which action counted as happening most recently? I think this is the one that I want to ultimately have bound to left click. I believe. Because then I can just put the Q back. Days. And then... wait... That needs two... Okay, so wait, okay, yeah, so... Yeah, don't- don't need that guy just yet, so do this. Alright. 
then... Wait, why did that count as binding? There we go. Now it counts. And then we can do this. And come back through here. And... Oh, we have to... Oh, no! <laughs> Flooper! <laughs> that is genius! Aw, oh, crap. I need my portals to be the other way. Alright. Let's, uh, let's fix this. Bind to this, please. And then... Bind to this, please. Perfect. And then... Bind- oops, nope, 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 don't do that, please. Please, go back to here. And we then... Fire this portal as many times as we want. Oh, and it fixes itself for us. Lovely. Awesome. Okay. Whoa, this room! That looks... What am I even looking at here? Is this an optical... This is an optical illusion. This looks like the room is getting less wide. But... These walls are not... This is freaking me out, man! That's an optical illusion, Flooper! <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> It's like, it looks like these walls are, like, at an angle so that they get narrower towards the door and wider away from it. This is... strange. Okay, what are we dealing with here? Uh, okay. Huh. Is this our ultimate goal? Oh no, no, no! There's something on a timer! What is it? Is it... That? What exactly is on a timer here? Also... Is there another trap door around here? Yeah... And that button's what does it. Oh. Wait, I think I messed up. How do I go back up? Surely I don't have to kill myself, right? Help! <laughs> How do I go back up? Well, crap. Is that really a trapping situation? Am I really supposed to kill myself to go back up? Hey, that, that, did you see that? That's not initially activated. Okay, so, we actually... How are we gonna do that? Does this cube auto-respawn? Uh, I sure hope it does, because- oh no no, okay, so now that that's at- yeah, right, okay. Now that's activated, I can do this. That was close, I almost unbound that. Come down here. And, uh, yeah, we don't need you any anymore. So now we can press this- oh, crap, I should've- Ah. Uh... Yeah, that is really weird looking. Alright, so. Spawn cube. Place on button. Bind button. Oh, it's already bound, but activate it. 
keep it active. Come down here. Don't push any buttons at all. No buttons. No buttons shall be pushed in the making of this segment of the video. Left click. Press this one. Hey, there we go. Alright, so now... Put this here. And we basically just have to hurry. I think. We have to hurry to put the cube in there, and then... That, since that'll have been the last thing we pressed... Then we can just... Uh... We can just left-click again. Alright, so... Let me quick save here! <laughs> and... Press, run, run, run... Oh. What am I doing? I for I some reason thought this fizzler was on a timer. Okay. Phew, okay, we're done. Oh, crap, no, we're not done. Ha! <laughs> well, that's what quick saves are for. Yeah, I should have left clicked before doing that. Alright. So, find that. Jump up here. And I did it again! Like an idiot! <laughs> wow. Wait. Wait. Whew, did it. What- what just happened to me? Uh... What? I can't- I can't move. Oh, I was supposed to click? Oh wow, this is cute. This is cool. I like this. <laughs> oh, where is this? Oh, I guess this thing's not functioning. <laughs> oh man, that is a clever ending to the map. <laughs> Well done, Flooper! Well guys, as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it, and you can show your appreciation with the two buttons below the video that look like these right here, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!